Hey guys, welcome to Vidhi Academy. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss few examples on the formulas of trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. So here the given example is find the periods for cos to the power 4x. So in order to know the period for the function, let us name this function as f of x. So here we get let f of x is equal to cos to the power 4x. And now we can write this function in the form of x square that is cos square x whole to the power 2 and now here by using the formula of cos a which is equal to plus or minus under root 1 plus cos 2a by 2 so that implies we can also get a formula from this formula which is cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2 so by using this formula of cos square a and just replacing a with x we get here 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2 whole square and now by observing we can say that 1 plus cos 2x whole square is in the form of a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so by using this formula of a plus b whole square we get here a square which is 1 square plus 2ab which is 2 into a which is 1 into b which is cos 2x plus cos 2x whole square divided by 2 square which is 4 and now taking 1 by 4 as the common factor we get here 1 by 4 into 1 plus 2 cos 2x plus cos 2x whole square and now again this is in the form of cos square a so by using this formula of cos square a here we get 1 by 4 into 1 plus 2 cos 2x plus let us assume 2x as a so here we get 1 plus 2 into a which is 2x here divided by 2 and now taking LCM so here we get 1 by 4 into 2 into 1 plus 2 cos 2x plus 1 plus cos 2 into 2x which is 4x divided by 2 and now taking 1 by 2 as the common factor we get 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 which is 1 by 8 here into 2 into 1 which is 2 plus 2 into 2 cos 2x which is 4 cos 2x plus 1 plus cos 4x so that implies we get here 1 by 8 into 2 plus 1 which is 3 plus 4 cos 2x plus cos 4x so here this is the function f of x which is equal to 3 by 8 plus 4 by 8 which is nothing but 1 by 2 into cos 2x plus 1 by 8 cos 4x so here this is in the form of cos ax so by comparing both the functions we get a equal to 2 so now let us find the period for the function cos ax which is given by the formula 2 pi by mod a so here the period for the function cos 2x will be equal to 2 pi by mod 2 and here 2 2 gets cancelled so we get pi as the period for cos 2x so let us name this as equation 1 and now let us proceed and find the period for the function cos 4x so cos 4x is in the form of cos ax and by comparing both the functions we get a equal to 4 so now let us find the period for the function cos 4x so we already know that period of the function cos ax is given by the formula 2 pi by mod a so here we get 2 pi by mod a which is 4 and here by simplifying 2 1 time is 2 and 2 2 times is 4 so here we get pi by 2 as the period for the function cos 4x so now let us name this equation as equation 2 so from both the equations 1 and 2 which are nothing but the periods of cos 2x and cos 4x so LCM of both the periods that is LCM of pi by 2 comma pi so LCM of pi by 2 and pi is pi so hence pi which is 180 degrees is the period for the function cos to the power 4x so make a note of the formula for the multiple angle cos a is equal to plus or minus under root 1 plus cos 2a by 2 and also make a note of the formula which is cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2 so this was a basic introduction on how to solve such examples by using the formulas of multiple and sub multiple angles hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day